Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how to make the DIY version of the balloon stuffer machine. If you want to put bears inside of balloons just like this, keep watching. It's super simple, so you can definitely do it. I think the hardest part is getting a balloon over the top. Other than that, you're good. You need a bucket. This one is five gallons. Order yourself a clear or translucent bucket if you want to be able to see what's inside while you're stuffing. A lid that fits the bucket. This is a PVC ball valve. You only need this if you want to turn your vacuum off while you stuff the balloon. Otherwise, you can do without it. PVC extension coupling. Some places call them a PVC fitting. Trust me, I have made this machine both ways and the only difference is that you will have to keep your vacuum turned on. If you don't want to use the ball valve, then you will not use the coupling either. Instead, you will replace those two items with one PVC pipe. You can use a PVC elbow if you want your pipe to curve up towards you. But other than that, you do not need to use the ball valve if you don't want to. You need something for the opening. I usually don't go over 4 inches because it will be harder to get the balloon over it. But I'm pretty sure you'll have something laying around your house that you can just cut in half and use. You can use an old cup or anything. Just make sure that whatever you use isn't too soft to where it will break. Today I am using a 4 inch PVC snap in drain and I'm going to cut the drain off. You need glue and whatever glue you use just make sure it's plastic bonding glue because a lot of glues do not work with plastic. And I also use just a little bit of E6000 just as extra protection. Hot glue gun. Soldering iron, you can use a hot knife or like a box cutter. I use a soldering iron because it's easier for me to cut through the plastic. Scissors, hand pump for balloons, gloves so you don't get that glue all over your hands, something to mix the glue in, nonstick shelf liner or something that is really soft that has a lot of holes. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Here's a close up so you can see that it has to have a lot of holes. Old cloth that you have laying around, I cut this from a t-shirt. Just make sure you have two pieces. The balloons that I use are Qualtex 18 inch stuffing balloons. Also from the Dollar Tree, I use Tire Shine. I use it to make the balloon shiny once it's done. Balloon Shine and High Shine are also really great to use to shine up the inside and the outside of the balloons. Let's get started. We're gonna start with the bottom of the bucket. Take a little glue and add it to the threading of the coupling and then twist it onto your ball valve. I do this extra step so that my valve can stick out a little farther than the bucket. Take your ball valve, place it where you want it, and take a marker and trace around it. The coupling side is what faces into the bucket. Remember, if you aren't using a ball valve right now, you will switch that out for the PVC pipe and do the same steps. Cut that hole out. Check to see if it fits and make adjustments if you need to. Place it in the hole, take any sharp pieces out, and make sure your valve is flush with the bucket. It needs to be smooth right up against it, no extra pieces sticking in. Make sure that extra piece is not fully in there. It needs to be close to the bucket but also just enough space to glue it down.
squeeze that glue out and mix it together. And glue it in there, make sure that you don't have that valve sticking in too far. I put something under there to prop it up to dry. Go ahead and finish gluing around. You want to cover all of the seams as well as where you connected the coupling and the valve. You need to make sure you don't have any gaps where air can come through. Put glue around the hole in the inside as well. More glue. Cut a small piece of shelf liner and cut it into a circle that's about the same size as the hole in the inside. Just glue that in there, only a tiny bit of glue. The reason why I use this tiny bit of shelf liner is because when the balloon inflates, I want it to go up against a smooth surface and to cover all of that glue and also the cut plastic, I just cover it with the shelf liner. Get whatever you're going to be using as the opening on the top. I'm just going to cut the drain off of this. If you're using a cup or some sort of container, go ahead and cut it now. In the end, you want it to look like this. Place it on top of the lid and trace around it. Cut that hole out. The tall part of the opening sticks out of the top of the lid. Put that neck right up through that hole and you're gonna glue it in. Make sure you don't have too much hanging down underneath. The less the better. Put glue all around that neck and make sure you don't leave any gaps. You don't want air to be able to escape through there. Flip the lid over to the bottom and use your hot glue gun to fill in the gaps. Seal it all the way around. You also use your glue gun to seal any rough areas. Place one of your cloths over the opening, measure it out as best as you can, and glue it down. Place your glue on the outside of the ring. This will also help the balloon stay on. Go around with your scissors and cut the extra pieces off. Cut a hole in the middle and then make little triangle pieces to hang down. Fold those pieces back to expose the top of the opening. Place your second cloth over the opening. Push down to make sure it's long enough. It needs to be long enough to where it hangs down underneath the hole. Cut off the extra fabric and glue that right above where you glued down the first piece.
put your hands in there make sure it's not too lumpy make sure you didn't put too much glue and then you're gonna cut it cut flaps just like you did the first one as long as your cloth covers the opening you are good to go I wash my balloons with dish soap and water and then I let them dry completely before I use them to stretch the balloon over the hole you want to roll the neck down just about an inch and then put four fingers on the left and right inside of the balloon and pull it over the opening You kind of want the hole of the balloon to be in the middle. You can adjust it, but not too much because you could easily rip the balloon. Place your vacuum hose over the opening and make sure your valve is open. It needs to line up straight with the hose. Put your vacuum cleaner hose or your shop vac hose onto the opening of the valve and turn on your vacuum. Watch your balloon as it inflates. Close the valve as soon as the balloon fills up the bottom of the bucket. If you don't do that, your balloon will pop. This may be tricky for you to get at first, but soon it will be second nature. Watch me stuff this balloon. I use a sewing needle to attach fishing wire to the top of the bear. Make sure that bear is positioned in there the way you want it. This next part, you have to work quick. Roll the neck of the balloon off and grab it as fast as you can. Squeeze tight. Take the lid off and use your hand pump to reinflate the balloon. Squeeze it tight so you don't let too much air out. Hold the balloon tight with one hand and re-stretch the neck of the balloon with the other hand. You can tie a regular knot or you can use a balloon clip or you can use a balloon clip and tie another knot using a 260 that has been cut in half.
All done. Now let's shine up this balloon. Put a glove on your hand and then spray the glove. Spray a good amount over your hand and you're gonna rub all around the balloon. Just wanna wipe it and make sure you fully cover. I tried to turn my ring light off so you guys can see it without the light shining on it, but this is the finished product. I appreciate you guys watching my video and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.